hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is purity please remember to subscribe to my channel like this video and share and today we are creating this beautiful pencil cast cut this is how it looks it has a slit at the end and it's a very very simple tutorial i'm hoping you'll enjoy creating this cut with me and remember to tag me in your posts and remember the last video we did this beautiful top making this a beautiful set so this is how it looks generally and let's get started with the work i am using acrylic yarn and this is thin yarn so i will double my yarn to get the medium weight effect as i said this is 50 gram yarn and it is acrylic yarn um to crochet i am using a 2.5 mm hook a pair of scissors You'll need a darning needle to stitch in the ends, stitch markers, and a tape measure. That's all you need for your project. To begin your work, we are working from the waistband going down, and we need to start by making a slip knot. And as I said, we are working from the waistline going down. As for now, we are starting to work on the West line okay i made my slip knot and now we are chaining 20 that's how long i want my waist line to be that is the thickness of the waistline if you need a medium size waistline you can chain 15 but i'm chaining 20 okay I am done with the 20 chains and now we are working a row of single crochets across all the 20 chains that you have. Do single crochets across all the 20 chains that you have and I will meet you at the end of the row. I am done with the 20 single crochets and now we begin on our main stitch which is um, single crochets in the back loop only that is the main stitch when we are working with this waist band so chain one turn your work and we're going in this first stitch here and we are working with single crochets in the back loop only that's how we do single crochets in the back loop only and we will work like that across all the 20 chains that we have i will meet you at the end of the row please remember you're working with single crochets in the back loop only that is the main pattern for the waist bands for the waist band sorry it tends to be much stretchy that's why we are using that um stitch and remember to work on your waistband take your waist measurements minus six inches that's how long we are going to work with this single crochet in the back loop only stitch take your waist measurements minus six inches okay and then you are going to work single crochets in the back loop only up to your waist measurement minus six inches
I am done with row 2. To begin the next row, chain 1, turn your work, and we are still working with single crochets in the back loop only. Okay? Um, my waist measurement is 25 inches, and to have a perfect fitting waistband, we will minus 5 inches from your original waist measurements as i said my waist measurements is 25 inches 25 inches minus 5 inches that means i will work single crochets in the back loop only until i get to 20 inches long okay take your waist measurements minus 5 inches to get a perfect fitting waist band and please remember we are working with single crochets in the back loop only until you get to your waist measurements minus 5 inches. I am done and this is how my work looks. You can see it is quite stretchy as I said. It's, it will stretch to your waist measurement and even past your waist measurement. So you'll still have allowance when you want. Okay, as I said, this is 20 inches. You can see I folded it into two 10 by 2. That means it's 20. And now we want to join together. Just fold your work into two like I did and we will, we will join together using a single crochet okay you can use your darning needle to join or your hook i'm still using my 2.5 mm to join together and as i said we are using single crochets to join so i'll meet you once your work is joined joined and we will start working with our main stitch which is double crochets okay so here i'm just finalizing on the last stitch i extra frogged my work and now i want to join as i said we're joining using single crochet just insert your hook on the other side chain one more chain fast before um joining and then Put your hook on the other side and kindly make sure your work is straight okay before you start anything else make sure your work is straight and that's how we join And then you will chain one more, turn your work, and now join the two using single crochets. Please make sure your work is always straight before you join. We're just going in each stitch like this, and we are joining using single crochets. Okay, once you finish joining your work, it should look like this. And now we want to work on the body of our skirt, okay? And the body of our skirt, we are using double crochets to work on the body of our skirt. So once you're done joining chain three, one, two, three, and then turn your work to the right side, okay? For the body of our skirt we are working on the right side and we are going in each stitch and make double crochet.
crochets all round okay go in every stitch and make a double crochet and we are making double crochets all round until here where we began from and i will meet you here so that i show you how we begin the second row of double crochets Okay, I am done with row one of double crochets and now we are joining um, the beginning to the end using a slip stitch. Go on top of chain three that you made and that's where we join using a slip stitch. Please make sure it's on top of chain three, okay? So just go in there like that and then you're joining using a slip stitch like this and then to begin a new row you will chain three so before you start row two we want to put stitch markers at the sides of our work we want to determine where our hips will be kindly find uh, the sides of your work Take your tape measure, find the middle of your work. The middle is at 5, so meaning the sides will be at our 10 inch mark, okay? That is the middle of your work. So we are trying to find the sides of our work. And once you find the sides of your work, you'll put stitch markers at each side, okay? We now want to start working on the hips measurement, okay? Remember our skirt is measurement best, so you have to make sure you have all your measurements on check. Okay, put stitch markers at the sides of your work and then now we will work up to our hips measurements. Okay, once you've put stitch markers like that, you will double check your work making sure it's at the correct measurements. That means it should be at the sides of your waist band, okay? Like that. So once that is in check, remember you had already joined your work and chained three. And now, after you chain three, you will turn your work like this. Right now, we are turning our work yarn over and we are going in with a row of double crochets until i get to the first stitch marker and i will meet you there so that we do our first increase at the first stitch marker okay I am at the first stitch marker and we want to do our first increase. Remove your stitch marker. And we will put three double crochets in one stitch. That is the first double crochet. Do the second double crochet in the same, same stitch, this stitch and a third double crochet in the same stitch
Once you're done with your three double crochets in one stitch, take your stitch marker and put it in the second stitch, sorry, in the second double crochet that we did. Okay, always put your stitch marker at the second double crochet. And then continue with the pattern which is double crochets until you get to your next stitch marker. That's where we will do our next increase. We are doing increases because now we are working on our waist measurements and we will do increases until we hit our hips measurements. That's when we will stop doing the increases at the stitch markers. I am at the second stitch marker and we are doing three double crochets in the same stitch. Remove your stitch marker and do three double crochets in one stitch. That is one double crochet, the second double crochet and the third double crochet. And put back your stitch marker in the middle stitch which is the second double crochet crochet okay it's always put in the second double crochet like that and then continue with the pattern and i will meet you at the end of the work where we are joining okay and for row three we'll do something different so i'll meet you once we're joining and i'll show you how we are working on row three Okay, I'm at the end and now we are joining. Remember, we are joining on top of chain three like this using a slip stitch. Once you're done, chain three. One, two, three. Turn your work. And we are doing a row of double crochets. And for this row, we will not do increases, okay? Once we get to the stitch marker, you'll just remove the stitch marker, put a normal double crochet, return back your stitch marker and move forward. On this row, there's no increases done, okay? We'll be increasing on alternative rows. So I will meet you at the stitch marker. So I show you how we remove the stitch marker and put it back without doing an increase on this row i'm at the stitch marker and remember on this row we are not doing any increase remove your stitch marker put one double crochet in that stitch put back your stitch marker and continue with double crochets until you get to your second stitch marker Okay, I'm at the second stitch marker. Remove the stitch marker. Put one double crochet in that stitch. Replace your stitch marker. I mean return your stitch marker in the same stitch. And then continue with the pattern. And I'll meet you at the end when we are joining our work so as from now we're just working normal double crochets until we join our work at the end
I am at the end and we are joining using a slip stitch on top of chain 3. Go on top of chain 3 like that. Sometimes it's a bit difficult but just find a way to do it. And then join together using a slip stitch like that. Chain 3. 2. 3. Turn your work. And we are doing double crochets. And remember on this row, we will do an increase. As I said, we are increasing on alternative rows. Meaning, one row increase, the next row no increase. One row increase, the next row no increase. So on this row, we will do an increase. When we get to the stitch marker, we will do our increase. Okay? So I will meet you at the stitch marker. Okay, I'm at the stitch marker and we want to do our second increase. So I'm one stitch to the stitch marker. Go in there and put my last stitch just before the stitch marker. And now we are the stitch marker. Remove your stitch marker and do um, your second increase, which is three double crochets in one stitch. That is the first double crochet the second double crochet and the second one then do the third one so we are going to be doing these increases like like this on alternative rows until you hit your hips measurements and to have a perfect fitting skirt take your hips measurements minus six inches my hips measurement is 36 inches 36 inches minus six inches meaning i will work like this on alternative rows until i get to 30 inches and please remember our work is folded into two so it should be 15 inches 15 by 2 that makes it 30 okay because it's 15 on the front side and 15 at the back side so as i said we are working like this until you get to your hips measurements minus six inches so i'll meet you at this second stitch marker here to do our next increase i'm at the second stitch marker and we want to do our next increase remove your stitch marker and do three double crochets in one stitch that is the first double crochet the second double crochet and the third double crochet and please always remember to put back your stitch marker in the second double crochet okay take back your stitch marker and put it in the second double crochet like that and then continue the pattern which is double crochets until you go to the end where we will join using a slip stitch so that is the pattern and remember on our next row is a row of no increases okay as i said we are working like that until you hit your hips measurements minus six inches that's how we find a perfect fitting skirt so this is how our work looks as per now and we are working on alternative rows until you get to your hips measurements and always remember to join using a slip stitch and always remember to chain three and turn your work as per now our work is at 13 13 by 2 is 26 meaning we are working up to get to 15 inches which will make it 30 okay i have reached my hips measurements and this is how long i worked remember we are working on alternative rows okay so as I said, my hips measurements is 36 inches, but we minus 36 by 6, which makes it 30. And this is 30 inches, 15 at the front size, 
front side and 15 at the back side this is how we get a perfect fitting skirt once we get you hit your hips measurements you can stretch your work to see if it will fit your hips measurements as i said my hips measurements is 36 and this surpasses my hips measurements meaning everything is okay you will remove your stitch markers and you will continue the pattern which is you chain three and turn your work okay as per now there is no increases done we're just working normal double crochets i'm just winding up on this last row and remember when you get here you join using a slip stitch on top of chain three like that then you chain three turn your work and we are doing normal double crochets no more increases okay so you'll go ahead and remove your stitch markers and just work normal double crochets all round until you get to 10 inches length sorry 11 inches length then i will meet you once you are there to show you something else okay okay um i went ahead and worked up to 11 inches length as you can see this is 11 inches and now we want to start um decreasing our work as i said this is a perfect fitting pencil skirt so um it has to be fitting a bit after the hips so you'll come and put back your stitch markers at the sides on this side Put your stitch marker like this please make sure it's at the side and also put another stitch marker at the other side like that okay and we will continue with the pattern which is double crochets until we get to the first stitch marker and i will meet you and show you how we are doing decreases okay okay uh we are the stitch marker and we want to do our first reduction first remove the stitch marker yarn over and go inside this first stitch skip this second stitch and come out skip this stitch come out from the third stitch like that and complete that by doing a double crochet that's how we do our first reduction then please remember to put back your stitch marker okay that's how we do our first reduction once you're done you'll continue with the normal double crochets until you get to the next stitch marker then do another reduction and also for reductions we are do we are doing on alternative row this row we are doing a reduction the next row no reduction so we are working like that until you hit six inches of reductions okay now the second row of the reduction sorry the second stitch and i want to show you again how we do the reduction and then we will do the rest until you get to six inches to reduce you're going into for this first stitch skip the second stitch and come out from this third stitch here like this and then complete that by doing a double crochet then always remember to put back your stitch marker okay and the next row will be a row of no increasing okay sorry a row of no decreasing now we are doing <coughs> sorry decreases um and we will work like this decreasing on alternative rows until you hit six inches long okay so i will meet you once you are done decreasing six 
inches long. Okay, I am done with my decreases and this is how my work looks. Remember, I said we're doing six rows of decreases and I worked from 11 inches up to 17 inches. And now, this is how my work looks. And now, we'll continue with the pattern until you, um, until where you want your slit to begin. Okay, we'll just continue with the pattern until where you want your slit to begin. Then I will meet you there. I worked up to 20 inches with no decreases, just normal double crochets. And now, I want to show you how to put the slit. Okay, once you are here where we join our work, do not join. Instead, just chain three and you turn your work. Now we are creating the slit. Once you chain three, turn your work. Skip this first stitch. This one, go to the next stitch and do a double crochet. And we are working double crochets all round. And I'll meet you at the end of your work. Please remember I added more inches up to 20 inches. That's when I started to work on the slit area. Okay. And I showed you how to work on the slit area. You do not join your work. Just chain three and turn. And I'll meet you on this other side and show you again how to do it. I'm at the end and we are... As I said, we are not joining our work. Chain two. Turn your work. And yarn over. Always remember to skip this first stitch. Go to the next stitch. And we are doing double crochets. So that is how we create the slit area. And the more rows you do, the longer your slit becomes. Okay. I went ahead and did... Um, as I started my slit area, it was at 20, so I did 7 more rows. I stopped working at 27 inches, okay? And that is how we create this beautiful slit area. Then I went ahead, after I finished working with the slit area, I just did a row of single crochet at the bottom of my work and up the slit area. That's how I did the edging. Um, this is how my skirt turned out to be. I'm hoping you enjoyed this tutorial. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video. Have a beautiful week. And I love you so, so much. Goodbye.